Yeah, this is this is a harder opponent than Tommy Fury. Look, he has more amateur fights. He has more professional fights. He's a heavyweight. You know, he's been in boxing his whole entire life. Um, and he's older, more experienced than Tommy Fury and has been in a lot bigger fights and sparred with some of the toughest heavyweights in the world. So my, really my manager and even my own brother was like, yo, you shouldn't be doing this fight. Like, why do you, why do you want to do this? The risk isn't worth the reward. Right. And I was just like, yo, I'm, I'm built different. You know, I, I, I really want to do this. I want to prove to the world that I can knock out a professional boxer, no matter how good he or she is or anyone I'll knock out anyone. God damn it. Yeah, I mean, this dude is he's fought at like 250 plus pounds before. I think he's 11 and one. I mean, this guy is a legitimate fighter. And I think, Jake, you pointed out you showed other guys who are around your age, but are are big stars in the boxing world. And the guys that they fought, not nearly as good at this point in their career as the guys you are fighting. I guess that yeah. goes back to that attitude, though, doesn't it? Yeah, no, look, no professional boxer has ever taken this big of a risk this early on in their career. Canelo's sixth fight was a guy who was two and two. Javante Davis's sixth fight was up against a guy who was two and eight. So they're taking easy fights this early on in their career. And people want to criticize me. I get it. But I'm taking bigger risks. A couple quick ones on Tommy. Tommy suggested that you find a neutral location, Jake. Like I said, you're fighting at Madison Square Garden. So to turn down MSG, that's what he was suggesting. Did you ever consider that? Did you ever think about going to some neutral place where you and Tommy could fight? You know, I'm considering doing it after August 6th, but I want to fight in Madison Square Garden. And the show must go on whether or not Tommy Fury is in the arena. Like, I don't wait for people. I don't need to wait around, you know, and I have a responsibility to my fans to, to put on shows and even to the undercard, you know, Amanda Serrano is the double main event. So people are going to get to see Amanda Serrano fight again. Uh, people are going to see Ash and H2O Silva, the new signee to most valuable promotions fight. So if I wasn't going to make a fight happen, then all yeah. of these people wouldn't have had fights. Um, so that, that's another big reason in finding another opponent. And I told Tommy, I'll give you 500K and we could fight in the neutral location after August 6th. Let's run it up. So we'll see what he says, but I just don't think he ever wants to fight me. Yeah. And, and by the way, what you said is super important just now, too, about Amanda Serrano. Like you just did, by the way, put on the biggest uh, women's boxing match that has ever happened. And people should definitely know that under MVP promotions. Um, so, so you will still fight him, bottom line. I, I was going to say, I thought you might say, hey, I'm done with this guy forever. But, you, but you're down in the future if it makes sense. If it makes sense, yeah. Like, I think it would be funny to go over to the UK and knock him out in front of, uh, you know, his whole family. That would be very uh, rewarding for me. Last thing on Tommy, do you think this is all BS or do you buy that he actually can't get into the country and there's no way for him to get here by August 6th to have the fight in New York? I don't buy it. You know, I had multiple people hit me up that said, yo, I can get him in. I have connections to people at the embassy. We'll get him his visa. No problem. And I DM Tommy and he just went into hiding. Uh, I said, I could I'll help you out. And who knows that even if he went to the airport, you know, he's a famous figure in the UK, probably one of the most famous people over there. And there's no pictures of him at the London Heathrow airport. Right of him trying to get in and he was there for a couple hours trying to get in, you know, it's, it doesn't make sense. I, I love it. Uh, look, you got a great fight August 6th. Uh, I, I know you guys, you, you and his team had a little bit of, you know, little trash talk and maybe after the sparring sessions, what, what's the, what's, what's the, the, the relationship right now? Is there bad blood? And what do you say to him uh, as we have, I guess, like a, a month now? Yeah. About a little less than a month before you guys uh, do battle in, in MSJ. Look, all, all respect to him for, for taking this fight, you know, yeah. um, he, he's the bigger man. He has more experience. And so I think he thinks he can win this fight, but it's just not true. Uh, I'm, I'm faster. I'm, I'm more electric and he's not going to be able to put any any power on me. Um, and yeah, there's some unsettled beef there. You know, he said he was calling me a bitch and, you know, saying that he was going to beat my ass and all this stuff. And um I've wanted the fight since then, you know, since, yeah. since that moment went down and I'm going to, I'm going to be the butcher cause I'm about to cook this beef.